Craig at SP here. Today we're going to go over your basic regulator maintenance of your shocker ramp marker. The tools you will need for a basic regulator service are a 5 16th Allen key, a quarter inch Allen key, factory grease, a clean microfiber, and also a dental pick will make things a lot easier but not necessary. First, you want to make sure the marker is degassed and also remove the bolt to ensure there is no air still stored in the marker. Then you want to grab your 5 16th Allen key and using the small end of the wrench, you want to insert it into the black regulator face. Make sure that you are turning with some pressure applied since the components are spring loaded. Then, once you have it fully turned out, you want to go ahead and flip the marker over and drop out the components. You want to now look inside the body and you will see the piston and lower piston spring. The piston spring is captured inside of the piston to make it easier to remove. Recommend carefully using a dental pick if you have it, or you can tap the marker against your hand a couple of times and it should drop out. So you then have your regulator spring and you then want to remove the regulator piston spring by just pulling out the piston base. You then want to take a quarter inch wrench and place it inside the reg base of the body and carefully remove it. To remove it, you want to use slight pressure while turning the Allen key. The reg base is not something you normally would have to service for general maintenance. However, for troubleshooting or annual maintenance, you may need to remove it. You then want to go ahead and grab your reg base again and clean off any debris or excess grease. You then want to put a generous amount of grease on these o-rings since this is not a commonly removed piece. Then take your quarter inch wrench and install the base back into the body. Carefully making sure that you push down and line it up correctly with the threads. Next, once that is snug, you then want to take your regulator piston. Go ahead and take a microfiber rag and clean it off. Also, you want to inspect your reg piston seat to make sure that there is no damage to the surface. Then, lightly grease the o-ring on the piston, and you can put a small amount on the bottom o-ring to help with the install of the bottom spring. Then, you want to install your lower piston spring by pushing it into the base of the piston. And you can place on your upper reg spring as well. Go ahead and insert, insert those into the marker and then install your remaining bottom portion of the regulator. Once again, you want to use the short end of the Allen key when screwing it in and apply some pressure since it is spring loaded. That will conclude your basic regulator maintenance of the shocker amp marker. Thanks.